Hi everybody, welcome back into GamecocksOnline.com alongside head swimming and diving coach McGee Moody. I'm Corey Burkhart. The Gamecocks back on the road this weekend. They travel to Florida to face the Gators. Coach, before we talk about the weekend ahead, let's talk about the weekend that just was against Alabama. Mm -hmm. I know you were not pleased with the result, but obviously your team showed a lot of fight in that competition. Talk about what you saw out of them. We were good. I mean, I you know, you want to win. That's why we go out there every week and we sit down as a staff and every week we try to put together a lineup that puts us in the, the best position to win the meet. Um, we did that last week. We gave it everything we had and uh, on the men's side it literally was about as close as we could make it. Um, we lost three races by one one hundredth of a second and that's always painful but uh, a total of 19 one hundredths of a second cost us this meet. So. Uh, we've got to figure out where we're going to get that 19, 19 100s back from. So um, I was proud of our guys in that, um, you know, Alabama was a top 10 team. They were ranked number seven in the country, and we, we took them down to the wire. We gave them everything uh, that we could possibly put together. Our guys were great. We had a couple, couple of folks that were off a little bit, which was, which was okay. I mean, that happens. They've been training hard. Um, you know, if, we, if we've got 100% best times right now, then we probably have to evaluate what we're doing. Uh, but I was proud of our men. On the, on the girls' side, I thought uh, our girls had a couple of things that didn't go our way early. And what I was really most proud of them about is that they never, they never hung their heads. They never quit. Um, they really did view every event as a 0-0 score. We're going to go win this event. We're going to go race in this event. And um, that I was really proud of. Uh, I think our our girls, I think the performances, you'll probably see some little bit faster times this coming weekend based on the type of training that we're doing uh, as we get ready to go into Florida and the closer we get to Georgia Tech here in a few weeks. But all in all, I thought it was a good weekend. I, I hate to lose. I hate losing more than I enjoy winning, so that was a hard time for me. Uh, I'm from Alabama, so it hurts even more that it was from, from, uh, from Bama. But uh, it is what it is, and now uh, we kind of go out of the fire into the frying pan looking at, looking at Florida this weekend. From a leadership perspective, I know you've never been one to force your student athletes into a leadership role, but at this point in the season, have you seen any develop into that role yeah. on their own? Yeah, I think, you know, we do, you know, essentially what, what we've started to see over the last few years is we really do want to teach our younger freshmen and sophomores what leadership looks like, what it means to, um, to lead a group of people towards a common goal. Um, it's coming harder and harder, I guess, in today's society to find those places with young people where they can do that. So we do really work with them early on to teach them how to do that. However, um, we have some folks that come by it pretty naturally. Um, I, I think on the guy side, we've got some younger folks, Tom Parabonio, Travis Morin, uh, who do an outstanding job, Josh Clothier, um, Jonathan Bolin, these guys, Kevin Lighthold, they're great leaders within our team. And so um, having them be able to set an example for our other guys on our team and to be able to really uh, lead um, in, in terms of what we want to do at the end of the year, as, as a, you know, in, in addition to what we want to do week by week, I think that's a huge thing for us. It makes our jobs as coaches easier. Uh, on the women's side, it's the same thing. We have young ladies like Taylor Vincent, Taylor Worrell, Heather Merritt, um, you know, Brooke Morton, some of these younger, uh, younger ladies with Brooke, who's a senior, that really kind of um, they, they envision what they want to see happen throughout the year, and they, they put these things in place to, to make it happen. So uh, it, it does, as coaches, make our jobs easier. Um, but we, are, we do have some really good leadership right now, leadership that I'm happy with that we're going to continue to mold and hopefully make stronger and stronger. And we want that sort of personality to be infectious with our younger group. With some very close finishes against Alabama and the leaders you now have mentioned, how has practice been going this week for you? Good. Uh, you know, like I said, we talked about it last week, but our, our weeks right now really don't vary that much. Um, we keep pretty much the same schedule. Doubles in swimming are pretty much the norm. Uh, we work out twice a day plus a lift four times a week. So um, we're really hitting it hard right now. And this is going to be really one of our last couple of weeks where we've got big training in before we head to Georgia Tech. And, and so we really don't change up what we're doing. This week is a little different in that we race on Friday. Uh, so we've got to take a travel day on Thursday. We've got to race on Friday. And then we're going to be back for a full day of practice on Saturday. So, um, you know, it, it's our guys know what they have to do. Uh, and, and the bottom line right now is the expectation is we go in every day at practice and we work as hard as we can possibly work. Um, when they're asked to go 100%, they do. When they're asked to back off a little bit, um, they do that too. So it's all part of a bigger plan, but we get through this weekend, we start setting our sights on our fall invite, uh, and, and the, obviously the big goal being SEC championships and the NCAAs. 
when you look at your swimmers and the depth that you have out of that group, how have they been pushing each other in practice so far this season? Have you been pleased with what you've seen out of them during the weeks? I, they, don't, uh, they don't let each other settle. I don't know if that makes sense, but they really um, – mediocrity in practice is, is, not, uh, is not accepted by anybody on our team. And, uh, you know, if, if one of our guys sees one of the other guys in his lane backing off a little bit or slacking, they're on them harder than the coaches are. Uh, which is that's the kind of environment that you need to, to, be, to bring home a championship, really where nothing but everybody's best is acceptable. Um, and, and honestly, <laughs> most of the time it's some of our younger guys that are, that are jumping on people, and I think that's good. I think uh, keeping that high level of intensity and that high expectation every day is what's going to make us great in the end. When you look at a team like Florida, top 15 women's program, top five men's mm -hmm. program coming off – you know, the Alabama meet before that, a great performance against Purdue. Yeah. As you look at the schedule and what challenges lie ahead, what would you like to see your team do this weekend? Um, well, you know, obviously we want to go down and win. Uh, but Florida, is a, that's, a, that's a tough place to go and an even tougher team to beat. They are so deep and they're so fast. They're coached by um, some of the, the best coaches in the nation. And so they're going to be ready. They're going to be fast. And our goal is to get down there and win as many races as we can win. Um, if we do that and we execute the race plans and we execute our strategy like we, like we should, then we're going to be right there at the end. Um, and that's all we can ask. I mean, as far as this, this team has come in the last nine years since I've been here, this was not even on the radar nine years ago. And now uh, our, our goal is to go down and win the meet. I mean, that's what we, I, you know what? I don't really care if Florida's number five in the country. The goal is to go beat them. I don't care if it's a number one team in the country. The goal is to go beat them. And our, our men and women both are now to the point where um, that's, that's, it doesn't matter who stands across um, you know, the deck. I was listening to Taylor Vincent, who was being interviewed earlier, and she said, you know, no names, no faces. It doesn't matter who's on the other side. We're going to go try to beat them. So um, I'm proud of where they are. I'm, I'm proud of our, our guys and girls, and I think our, our best swimming is still ahead of us. And so uh, going down this weekend, we're going to do the best we can. Uh, we're going to go down and race, hopefully put up a lot of points on the board, and then get back and get to work and get ready to go fast to Georgia Tech. All right, Coach, a good test ahead for you this weekend against the Gators. Good luck down in Florida. Thank you very much.